If there is one thing that sets SpaceX apart from its competitors in the aerospace industry, it is the courage to turn crazy ideas, ones that no one thought were possible, into reality. And if there is a second thing that makes SpaceX special, it is its limitless ability to upgrade and develop. The Raptor engine of the spacecraft is a perfect example of this innovation in action at SpaceX. That's why there isn't just Raptor 1 or Raptor 2, but also Raptor 3 and even the most powerful Raptor 4 of all time. Let's find out on today's episode of Space Zone. But first, we need your support. We are on the way to getting 100 first subscribers. Let's hit the subscribe button and you won't miss any of our episodes. Thank you very much. Recently, SpaceX released a stunning video showcasing the static fire test of Starship 34. A particularly valuable camera angle beneath the six Raptor engines gave us an up-close view of the powerful and awe-inspiring combustion process. But that's not all. SpaceX could soon show us even more dramatic and intense footage with its latest, most powerful version of the Raptor engine yet, Raptor 4. As we know, SpaceX has planned three versions of Starship, Starship 5-1, Starship 5-2, and Starship Vi-3. While each version has its own upgrades, Starship Vi-3 appears to be a significantly larger variant. While Starship Vi-2 is only 3.1 metres taller than Starship Vi-1, Starship Vi-3 is expected to reach a height of 150 metres, making it nearly 29 metres taller than Starship Vi-1 and around 26 metres taller than Starship Vi-2. This significant expansion in size requires a newly designed engine specifically for Starship Vi-3. That engine is none other than SpaceX's new Raptor 4. But why does Starship Vi-3 require a larger engine instead of continuing to use Raptor 3? So far, SpaceX has used Raptor 2 for the ship section of Starship 52. The super heavy booster for V2 has yet to debut, but it is expected to incorporate the promising Raptor 3. Naturally, Starship Vi-3 will demand an even newer and more powerful engine. Some may consider this new engine speculative since SpaceX has not officially announced the next generation Raptor. However, Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, has indirectly hinted at its development. While Musk is known for being overly optimistic with timelines, his statements often become reality sooner or later, making this possibility quite plausible. In April last year, during a speech to SpaceX employees, Musk mentioned future thrust levels for Raptor engines exceeding 330 tonnes of force. Currently, Raptor 3, as per SpaceX's official data, produces 280 TF of thrust. If adjustments are made as Musk suggested in October, Raptor 3 could potentially reach 300 TF. Therefore, achieving 330 TF would undoubtedly require a new engine variant. In August, Musk once again reminded us about a new variant stronger than Raptor 3, stating, Thrust will exceed 300 tons with Raptor 3. X. This ambitious declaration underscores SpaceX's relentless pursuit of innovation and performance improvement in engine development. Now, let's take a closer look at the evolution of the Raptor engine design. While we don't yet have images of Raptor 4, Based on the improvements from Raptor 1 to Raptor 2 and then to Raptor 3, it is almost certain that Raptor 4 will be designed to be even more compact and efficient. If we consider that Raptor 5-1 had a mass of 2,000 kilograms and Raptor 5-2 weighed 1,600 kilograms, then it is likely that Raptor 5-4 will have a mass of approximately 1,500 kilograms. Combined with a thrust of 330 TF, this results in a thrust-to-weight ratio, TWR, of 220. This figure is truly astonishing, especially when compared to the standard TWR of the Merlin 1D engine, which is 180. The thrust-to-weight ratio is a crucial metric for rocket engines, reflecting their efficiency and power. A higher TWR indicates a more capable engine, allowing the rocket to accelerate faster and reach higher altitudes. In this context, the Raptor 4's TWR of 220 surpasses the dominance of the Merlin 1D, placing it at the forefront of rocket engine performance. Indeed, when we compare the thrust-to-weight ratios, TWR, of various rocket engines, we observe a fascinating performance hierarchy. 
the Space Shuttle's RS-25 engine has the lowest TWR at 73, 1, followed by the RD-180 at 78, 1 and the BE-4 at approximately 80, 1, though precise data on the BE-4 is not easily available. The F-1 engine boasts a TWR of 94, 1, while the Raptor 2 leads with an impressive ratio of 107, 1. Although detailed information about the Raptor 4 engine remains scarce, Elon Musk's hints suggest a significant leap forward in engine technology. Yeah, we are on the way to getting 100 first subscribers. Let's hit the subscribe button and you won't miss any of our episodes. Thank you very much. Since its debut in 2016, the Raptor engine has undergone a series of continuous enhancements, progressively becoming more powerful and efficient with each iteration. SpaceX's unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of rocket engine technology is evident throughout the development journey of the Raptor engine. The initial iteration, Raptor 1, served as a pioneering testbed for innovative concepts. Its successful tests in 2020 marked a pivotal moment in the advancement of rocket engine technology, laying the foundation for subsequent developments. Building upon the success of Raptor 1, SpaceX introduced the Raptor 2 engine, which boasted increased thrust and chamber pressure, thereby enhancing overall efficiency and performance. This iteration represented a significant step forward in the evolution of the Raptor engine. In May 2023, SpaceX unveiled the Raptor 3 engine, showcasing remarkable results during its inaugural tests. While not the final version, Raptor 3 represents a substantial leap forward in engine development, featuring enhancements in performance, efficiency, and overall capability. The iterative improvements to the Raptor engine underscore SpaceX's dedication to innovation and continuous improvement as they strive to redefine the possibilities of space exploration. With each iteration, the Raptor engine brings humanity one step closer to realizing the ambitious goals of interplanetary travel and colonization. The introduction of the Raptor 3 engine marks a significant advancement by eliminating the need for a heat shield, resulting in a simpler yet more integrated design. Despite its seemingly stripped down appearance, the Raptor 3 incorporates intricate features such as integral cooling channels and secondary plumbing addressing complexities while enhancing ease of integration, performance, and reliability. While its construction posed challenges, the Raptor 3 promises improved functionality, reduced mass, and heightened dependability. Looking ahead to Raptor 4, SpaceX aims to push the boundaries further by achieving even greater thrust and reliability, signaling potential advancements in rocket propulsion. As such, there will likely be considerable speculation surrounding the future iterations of the Raptor engine. SpaceX's approach to engine development emphasizes rapid iteration and continuous improvement, with a focus on gathering data and implementing refinements for subsequent versions. The transition from Raptor 3 to SpaceX's Starship 5-2 prototype suggests an evolutionary trajectory wherein each iteration serves as a stepping stone towards the optimized design of the Raptor V4 engine. This iterative process, while not without challenges and setbacks, is integral to SpaceX's ethos of innovation. By introducing intermediate versions of engines, SpaceX can experiment with new concepts, identify areas for enhancement, and fine-tune performance to achieve optimal results. Indeed, the path to innovation is fraught with obstacles and the development of the Raptor engine has encountered its share of challenges and failures. However, SpaceX's commitment to pushing the boundaries of rocket technology remains unwavering, driving forward progress in space exploration and propulsion. Despite facing obstacles, SpaceX remains steadfast in its commitment to developing the Raptor engine recognizing its significance not only in terms of power, but also in optimizing time, cost, and performance in space exploration. SpaceX has set ambitious cost targets for the Raptor engine, aiming for a production cost of less than $1,000 per tonne of thrust, equating to approximately $250,000 per engine. Achieving this goal would enable cost-effective production, facilitating the scalability of space exploration endeavors. In 2022, SpaceX announced its capability to produce one Raptor engine per day at its McGregor facility in Texas, demonstrating significant progress toward meeting production targets.
A key feature distinguishing the Raptor engine is its utilization of liquid methane, CH4, and liquid oxygen, LOX, as fuel sources, a combination known as methalox. This choice of fuel holds strategic importance for space exploration, particularly for missions to Mars, as both methane and oxygen can be potentially generated from Martian resources through in-situ resource utilization, ISRU. ISRU is vital for establishing a sustainable human presence on Mars, as it enables the production of propellant using locally sourced materials, reducing reliance on Earth-based supplies. Furthermore, the use of methane as a fuel offers environmental benefits as it burns cleaner than traditional rocket fuels such as RP-1 kerosene, resulting in fewer pollutants. The Raptor engine's exceptional power is instrumental in facilitating human travel to Mars, enabling spacecraft to achieve unprecedented speeds and efficiency, thereby advancing the feasibility of interplanetary exploration and colonization. Beyond its technical prowess, the Raptor engine plays a pivotal role in SpaceX's broader vision of revolutionizing space travel. By driving down costs and increasing accessibility to space, SpaceX seeks to pave the way for ambitious endeavors such as establishing a long-term lunar base and creating the first self-sustaining colony on Mars. This vision aligns with Elon Musk's ambitious timeline, which includes sending an unmanned starship to Mars following NASA's Artemis missions to the Moon. Musk envisions the possibility of establishing the first human settlement on Mars before 2050. As SpaceX continues to refine and integrate the Raptor engine into its spacecraft, we can anticipate further strides in space exploration and travel. These developments hold the promise of unlocking new frontiers in human exploration, ultimately shaping the future of interplanetary civilization. Well, we are on the way to getting 100 first subscribers. Let's hit the subscribe button and you won't miss any of our episodes. Thank you very much. As humanity pushes the boundaries of space exploration, a NASA-SpaceX collaboration could play a pivotal role in developing nuclear propulsion for future spacecraft. SpaceX, known for its rapid prototyping and cost-effective rocket production, has already revolutionized space travel with Starship, the most powerful rocket ever built. However, Despite its massive payload capacity and reusability, Starship still relies on chemical propulsion, which has inherent limitations in efficiency and fuel requirements for deep space missions. On the other hand, NASA has decades of experience in nuclear propulsion research, dating back to projects like NERVA, nuclear engine for rocket vehicle application, in the 1960s. More recently, NASA and DARPA's DRACO, demonstration rocket for Agile Cislunar Operations Project, has reignited interest in nuclear thermal propulsion, NTR, a technology that could provide twice the efficiency of conventional chemical rockets. Unlike traditional engines that rely on burning chemical fuel, NTR, nuclear thermal rocket, uses a nuclear reactor to heat liquid hydrogen, which then expands through a nozzle to generate thrust. By working together, NASA and SpaceX could integrate nuclear propulsion into Starship, dramatically increasing its capability for interplanetary travel. A nuclear thermal Starship would bring several transformative benefits. First, faster travel times would allow a Mars journey to be completed in as little as 45 and 90 days, significantly reducing astronauts' exposure to cosmic radiation and microgravity effects. Second, Increased payload capacity would enable larger scientific instruments, cargo and life support systems to be transported, making long duration missions more practical. Third, greater mission flexibility would allow Starship to explore multiple destinations in a single mission, maximizing scientific discoveries. Lastly, long-term space habitats and infrastructure would benefit from nuclear propulsion by enabling frequent resupply missions to lunar and Martian bases. While Mars remains the immediate focus, nuclear propulsion could also enable more ambitious deep space missions. With this technology, missions to the outer solar system, such as exploring Jupiter's Europa, Saturn's Titan, or even Neptune, could become feasible with significantly reduced travel times. Looking even further ahead, interstellar exploration could become possible through advanced nuclear propulsion concepts, including nuclear electric and nuclear fusion-based engines. Though such missions are still decades away, 
Developing nuclear propulsion now is a critical first step toward the humanity's long-term expansion into the cosmos. Despite its promise, integrating nuclear propulsion into Starship presents major challenges. Regulatory approval is one of the biggest obstacles as launching nuclear materials requires authorization from multiple government agencies, including the Department of Energy, DOE, and the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, NRC. Safety concerns are another issue. Although nuclear propulsion is safe in space, launching a nuclear reactor from Earth necessitates robust containment and emergency protocols. Additionally, SpaceX's rapid iteration model conflicts with the slow and methodical approach needed for nuclear systems, making NASA's expertise in controlled nuclear testing invaluable. By combining SpaceX's engineering speed and NASA's nuclear expertise, a partnership could accelerate the deployment of nuclear-powered spacecraft while ensuring safety and regulatory compliance. Such a collaboration would not only revolutionise interplanetary travel, but also lay the foundation for future colonisation, scientific discovery, and the first human missions beyond our solar system. If successful, nuclear propulsion could mark a paradigm shift in space exploration, ensuring that humanity can venture farther into the cosmos than ever before. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.